Welcome back to the Dividend Diplomats YouTube channel. You've got your boy, Bert the Hurt, and you know you're rolling with Lanny, the Dividend Diplomats. And we are going to dive in into three dividend stocks I'm watching in the month of April. All right, everyone. But before we do, I want to show you guys something. Big announcement. See these? See these? Get them out of here. We're no Get more that weak stuff out of here. No more headset, everybody. My bad on that one. Thought I thought these those new microphones were gonna help solve the problem, knock a few things out. Clearly it didn't. Clearly it didn't. I saw your comments, everybody. I'm working on something. It'll be here for the next round of videos. So hopefully it's going to help get the voice a lot clearer. But want to get that out of here. My bad. Hopefully you're hanging with us as we work through them. But now let's move into the positive. Let's move into Lanny's dividend stock watch list. And before we do that, smash that subscribe button. Give us that thumbs up, everybody. Let's go. Let's get to financial freedom. Lanny, let's talk about these stocks you're watching. Let's let's get into here. You know, the stock market here, we're recording this April 5th at night. The stock market is down the last couple of days, breaking below, obviously, 4,600, hanging just above 4,500. The big discussion point right now is the extension of the moratorium on the student loans, extending and kicking that can out. What's going on over there? Yeah, you don't have to tell me twice about that. I mean, inflation's high. People are starting to feel the impact in their pocketbooks. It's pretty, it's not surprising, I should say, that they're going to keep kicking the can here on the, the restarting of the federal student loan payments, especially with an election year coming up. I would not be shocked if this gets kicked out into 2023 after those midterm elections. But for now, yeah, it's moved back to August 31st, and we'll see if that's going to be the actual deadline. I know everybody probably heard the news about Elon Musk buying a boatload of shares of Twitter, going to have a seat at the board, and yeah, that's spent the markets all over pressure. the place. Putting pressure on that edit button, Lanny. He wants us to be able to edit our tweets. Hey, hey, why not? You can edit your comments on YouTube. Yeah, yes, you can. So, yeah, bring it to Twitter. Let's see. I, that was interesting. He's always up to something. It's always funny watching what he's doing. Always up to something, but so are the Dividend Diplomats, and that's why you guys are here. We use the Dividend Diplomats stock screener focused on three metrics. One, the price to earnings less than the S&P 500. Two, that dividend payout ratio less than 60%. Three, that dividend growth rate. We want to see the history and the speed of growing that passive income stream. And then we, we look as the cherry on the top, the dividend yield. And if you guys didn't catch it on a couple of videos ago, I talked about my dividend dilemma. I've been buying Vanguard's BYM stock as well as store capital stock. I put the halt on store capital because I hit my 200 shares. Check that video out for the proof. I did it, guys. Got to my full position, but now I'm reallocated. I need to know where to reallocate. So maybe there's one of these three dividend stocks on my watch list where those funds will be going. It'll be exciting, Lanny, to see if one of these companies are going to find a spot in that big weekly purchase sector that store capital was taking. That's what's exciting. And these are three great dividend stocks, everybody. Three fantastic dividend growth stocks. All three of these companies are down year to day more than the market too. Lowest is going to be about nine down 9% year to date with the largest is a company, a dividend growth stock that is down over 26% year to date. That's exactly right. We're talking about three, almost three dogs um, that have happened this year in 2022 as the S&P is down over 5% year to date. So let's kick things off with that first dividend stock. You've seen this one on my dividend stock watch list. In fact, a lot of commenters have been buying this stock. But guys, it's back at a price point that you might be liking. We're talking Cummins, ticker symbol CM. I, Bert, what is this stock looking like right now? I was about to say, what is that price point that everybody is going to like? It is almost 
on the dot $200 per share. It closed at the time of this video $200 and nine. Sense. The company is down nearly 9% year to date at the time of this recording. Their yield is jumping as the stock price continues to fall. Yeah, I can see why Cummins is popping up on the list. Well, let's talk through that first metric here, that price to earnings metric, where we look at the valuation of the dividend stock. Price $200.09. Divide that by Ford EPS of $17.51. That gives you a PE ratio of 11.43. Yeah, pretty undervalued right there. <clears throat> You've got to love Cummins right now. That second metric, that dividend payout ratio is looking really solid. Right now, it's only a 33% dividend payout ratio, well below that 60%. Pure safety and a lot of room for dividend growth. For what does this dividend growth streak and rate look like, my man? All right, they are cruising on the way to becoming a dividend aristocrat, which is a company that has increased its dividend for 25 consecutive years. They've increased for 16 years, and their five-year dividend growth rate is 7.11%. Great. Inflation, eat that, is what Cummins is saying. I, which, you know what? We should be careful making that challenge, because inflation might actually eat that right now, because it is what, 8% last month is what it was? Yeah, pretty much 8%. Obviously, you know, it's really sent the uh, the whole U.S., the world, um, you know, in, in an alarm right now. Obviously, we've all seen it at the grocery store and the price at the pump. Um, yep. Not fun, not loving that, that's for sure. But that dividend yield right now is the bonus metric. It's 2.90%. You got to love it when a big stock is down 9% year to date. So close to 3% yield. I mean, I don't own Cummins. I never have. It's looking great at the metrics here, which are the PE ratio of 11.43, payout ratio of 33%, five year dividend growth rate of 7%, increase that dividend for 16 years, and a 2.9% dividend yield. I see exactly why this company is on your dividend stock watches landing. I'm going to be honest with you. If that yield hits 3%, I'm going to have to at least initiate a small position in Cummins. Let's go, Bert. All right, guys, let's go into that second dividend stock. Which one are we talking about here, Bert? All right, Scotch Miracle Grow, ticker symbol SMG. This company also recently made an appearance on your dividend stock watch list. Lane. It has had a brutal, brutal 2022, hasn't it? Oh, it's true. It's damn true. Scotch Miracle Grow has not enjoyed 2022 so far. In fact, the stock is down well over 26% year to date. Yikes. So let's jump right into that. The stock is down 26%. It is currently now trading at 121.15. Let's check out the metrics. Their, yeah, their price is 121 PEPS, $8.07. That PE ratio is 15. So yeah, that price earnings ratio is plummeting right now. Plummeting. PE is looking really solid, not quite as low as Cummins, but PE of 15 for Scott's Miracle Grow is pretty solid. Going into that second dividend stock metric, though, again, similar to Cummins at 33%, Scott's rocks a nice 32.7% dividend payout ratio. Nice. So let's see how that dividend growth is looking. They have increased that dividend for eight consecutive years. Five-year dividend growth rate is 35.06%. And what's unique about Scott's Miracle Growth is every several years, not only do they announce it, an annual dividend increase, but yeah, every several years, they announce a massive special dividend to complement that dividend growth right there. That's why we like this company as a dividend growth stock. And that's why that dividend growth rate on average is so large because of the special dividends. So guys, the dividend yield right now has swelled over 2% officially for Scott's Miracle Grow. In fact, it's at 2.18%. Fantastic. So let's summarize here. PE ratio 15, payout ratio 32.71%. Five-year dividend growth rate, man, it just blows you away at 35%. That in dividend has increased for eight consecutive years, and that yield is 2.18%. Lanny, you said there were three stocks on your watch list. We've gone over two of them. Number one was Cummins. Number two is Scott's Miracle Grow. Tell us about that third stock on your watch list. So you guys are going to really hate this one. Oh, um, man. let me just leave now. I'm going to just go off camera. Then I'm going to hate it so much. Let's talk about it, Lanny. 
So it's on the watch list because I have a small position in it. In fact, I did buy 10 shares on Monday in this stock. Um, it's boring, but I'm like, you know what? I own it. It has a decent yield above a normal savings account. It's got a small, slow, low growth rate, you know, a couple percent every year. I went to MDU Resources Group, ticker symbol MDU, and they're really heavily involved in the energy and the infrastructure space within the energy industry. Well, definitely a curveball. We were not expecting that landing. There's only one way we're going to find out if we hate this company. Though The only way I think that me and the millions and millions of diplomaniacs out there are going to hate the stock is if their metrics look terrible in the dividend stock screener. So let's go through the screener and see how this company performs. Hit the NWL music. I don't know. So guys, going in, they're trading at 2628 right now, down 14% year to date. Analysts expect $2.05. I'm using the 2022 expectation because 2023 is obviously a lot higher. The PE ratio is a small 12.82. All right. Yeah, that is definitely a discount right in the middle. Oh, no, no. It's just on the low end of the companies that we talked about today. Let's check out that payout ratio. Annual dividend, 87 cents. Divide that by the $2.05. That gives you a payout ratio that is perfect here, 42%. Bow, 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 so, bow. so you said there's low dividend growth here, Landy. Why don't you tell us about that third metric then for this company? So I know they've been increasing their dividend for at least eight plus years. You know, the average rate's only about two and a half percent, guys. Um, you know, I'm really curious what they'll do this year with that huge increase in inflation. And I'm curious if this stock kind of just rides the rail of an inflation number, because maybe that's why it was so low in the past, because inflation was historically very low in the past. So now this is going to be the year. Let's find out. That's going to be an interesting thing. Well, hey, we're watching it. Let's see what's going to happen here with MDU. And then to round it out with that dividend yield, 3.31%. So if there is going to be lower dividend growth, Lanny, at least you're getting a nice premium compared to the S&P 500 in your savings account with a strong, solid dividend yield of 3.31%. I love it. I dig it. Um, so guys, to give you a summary of MDU resources, 12.8 P ratio, 42% payout ratio, eight plus years of raising dividends at a rate of at least two and a half percent with the yield now 3.3%, well more than double the S&P 500 just to kind of have a boring investment. So, yeah, I mean, I see why it's on your watch list, Lanny. I'm not going to lie. So, I think rather than discuss the metrics of each one of the three, we can just put up the chart here that shows the metrics for the three. All three are great dividend growth stocks, Lady. Again, easily see why they're on your watch list. Tell us, is there a, a clear one, two, three? Are we 1A, 1B, 1C as we round out this week and the beginning of April? Tell us what your thoughts are for the companies here. You know, looking at the portfolio right now, you know, I do own a good amount of. Scott's Miracle Grow, but not enough. You know, I've only invested a couple thousand dollars, but my investment, and I'm sure similar to yours, has pretty much tripled maybe since my initial investment, but that usually doesn't stop me. So I'd be looking to buy Scott's Miracle Grow first, um, you know, because I did just buy the 10 shares of MDU. Um, you know, if I see MDU kind of hover below, if they get into the 25s, I'd probably int be interested in inching, a, you know, maybe 10 more shares. And then I'd look at Cummins, um, not because Cummins is a bad stock. In fact, Cummins probably has some of the most consistent metrics on here. If you want a consistently outperforming dividend stock that does very well financially, has a very consistent dividend growth streak. I mean, Cummins is probably about as consistent as they come right now, not to knock Johnson & Johnson. Um, but, you know, I own quite a bit of Cummins, so. Hey, I get it. So, I mean, hey, makes a lot of sense to me. Again, though, all three are great companies. If you came back and said, I just bought all three of them, just added up this week, as of a few weeks, we would get it too. 
everybody, let us know in that comment section below. What do you think of these three companies? What are the three stocks on your dividend stock watch list? Are any of these on yours or are you looking elsewhere? And obviously, if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel. Give this video that thumbs up. Help us on our journey to reaching financial freedom. Help us spread the word of dividend growth investing. Guys, we appreciate you for riding with the diplomats. Can't wait to hear the feedback in the comments to hear what stocks you're buying right now. We love sharing our investment perspectives and the stocks that we're watching. Um, hopefully you're enjoying the transparency to the diplomats. For it said it, subscribe. Definitely don't hesitate to give this video a thumbs up. It helps us a ton. That was Burton. This was Lanny from the Dividend Diplomats. Over and out.